Good morning. It's Wednesday, December 27th, 2023. This is your Georgia WeatherNet morning update. All that rain continues to move out of here. It's hiding under the Georgia WeatherNet logo, heading up toward the Outer Banks of North Carolina. We still have a pretty good amount of cloud cover across the state this morning, and we'll hang on to the, some of those clouds as we move through the day today, but we're setting up for dry conditions over the next couple of days and cooler air also moving in. You can see this moving in from the northwest to the southeast with those 40s in the western part of the state. Rome at 49, Columbus at 48. Then you get down to southeast Georgia, rather warm as we get started here at 803. 60 degrees in Statesboro at 62 along the Georgia coastline from Savannah down to Brunswick. So that cooler air will continue to move in from the west, and all of us will get a taste of that as we continue over the next couple of days. So let's take a look at the modeling. There's that low-pressure center continuing to hang out there off the coastline of uh, South Carolina, bringing all that rain to the Carolina coast. Continuing to push up toward the northeast. As for us, we'll have a little bit of a breeze today. Again, a little bit of cloud cover, but some sunshine will be poking through from time to time. Shouldn't be a bad afternoon at all. Heading into this evening, also fairly quiet. Overnight tonight, some clouds around. Otherwise, a little foggy start tomorrow morning. And then heading toward a, a day with the mix of sun and clouds. Still some clouds trying to hang on. We'll see a little bit more sunshine tomorrow. And then Friday, a little bit of activity coming in from the northwest. You can see those little shades of blue in middle Tennessee, northern Alabama. Those are some snow showers. Our wind will also pick, be picking up as well. So cooler air moving in, and we have a little bit of moisture that's there in the atmosphere. Now, what's happened since yesterday, low-pressure center that is causing all this is uh, looks like it's going to weaken quite a bit as we head into Friday. So our snow chance is starting to diminish somewhat. Still not looking at very much accumulation. The ground's just going to be way too warm, but I think we will see some snow flurries here and there throughout the state, mainly north Georgia, mainly north of I-20 as we move into Friday afternoon. See, they just kind of disappear, but just know that that moisture's still up there in the atmosphere, so we could start to see a couple of snow showers mid-morning in northwest Georgia. Georgia heading through the afternoon hours for uh, other parts of North Georgia, especially up in the higher elevations. We head into Friday evening. There's that blue reappearing again in northern Alabama. So this is just giving us a sign that we're not looking at a big snow event it's just going to be pretty to look at for a few minutes. Most of it's going to melt away fairly quickly, so it doesn't look like a, a big deal. But we should get a few nice pictures out of it anyway. And if you snap some good photos, shoot it to us over here at the Georgia Weather Net. We'd love to look at it. That's the latest from the Georgia Weather Net. Now your local forecast from northwest Georgia to southeast Georgia.